Ball inside the one yard line. Second down and goal. Rudy going to throw it up for Hazleton. And he makes a spectacular catch for a USC touchdown. What a catch! That was reminiscent of something Mike Williams did against Oregon State here in the Coliseum. Nadal Hazleton, 6'3, 210 pound sophomore, New York, New York. One of the faster guys USC's had at wide receiver for a long time. Get his first start tonight. And you're not going to see a lot of that. There's not a lot of coaches that can teach that. Rayon Williams, the corner, in the right position. He's going to watch that on film and just... What are you going to do? Giggle. Yeah. One handed all the way. He never did bring it back to his, with his other hand. That was one handed, top to bottom. Spectacular catch and another USC touchdown. Peter with a conversion. And with 12.24 left in the first half, the Trojans lead is now 21. Speaking of Vidal Hazleton, though, one of SC's star wideouts, he is standing by or actually talked to a little bit earlier with Patrick O'Neill. All right, Lindsey, thank you very much. Vidal, man, you know what? You guys had to step up tonight because you can't take any team lightly. Talk about your performance tonight and just getting this first one of the season. Oh, uh, man, I just, I just came out here and did exactly what the coaches asked me. I just tried to come out here and do everything right, and then the plays just came along. Hey, well, let's talk about that one-yard touchdown catch. You, you can't tell me you've had a better catch than that ever. I don't care. Pick, pick up back in New York, wherever. That was incredible. Oh, thank you. But it was it was a great it was a great throw by John David Booty. He put it up there, and I just went up there and made the play. Now, you know, what do you think about the preparation for this team going forward? You guys got a bye week right now. What does does this team need to work on for Nebraska? Oh, we definitely gonna look at the film from now. Just look at all our mistakes, and then just try to uh, execute and come in Nebraska, and just try to not 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 make mistakes. Well, what did the coaching staff talk to you guys about at halftime? Uh, they just wanted us to come out here with more tempo, just continue, just keep the fire up, and just continue to come out here and play. Yeah, and for you personally, what, how do you rate your performance today and the rest of the receiving core with Patrick Turner not being able to play, important for the guys really to pull together? I think we did pretty good as a, as a unit, and I think we just need to continue to work hard and we'll do better in, in, in each and every game. Hey, well, thanks for the time. Good job. We'll see you in Nebraska. Okay. And they lost. They were at Notre Dame. They had a pep rally on Friday night, and Digger spoke. My name's Digger. I'm the Undertaker's son. We ain't dead yet. First down. But they might want to know how to get the dirt off of them. Mark Sanchez, Fred Davis, Trojans up 7 0. For the touchdown. We ain't dead yet. Hey, now breathe real well. You gotta know whether a guy's living or dead before you bury him. Sanchez throws it in for another touchdown as C up. We ain't dead yet. But they're not feeling very well. And maybe you would even say the respirator's on and the priest is in the room. Sanchez finding Vidal Hazleton. A uh, uh, priest or somebody would have had a better shot at tackling Hazleton as he took it into the end zone. We ain't dead yet. <laughs> well, at some point, somebody's going to have to declare them expired. Or at least on life support. Uh, that's, that, that happened several weeks ago, Mark. Joe McKnight housing it. First career touchdown, SC Romps 38-0. The UCLA Bruins in the Carl Durrell era. They beat people they're not supposed to, and they lose to people that they're not supposed to lose to. Sanchez throws for Turner, is out of bounds. Walter Thurman was there. Well, Mark Sanchez was the big question going into this game. How's he going to react in his second start on the road in his career, in his first Pac-10 start on the road? John David Booty kind of waiting at the wings. And no one knows what's going to happen next week with the USC quarterback situation. Could be miraculously that Booty's finger heals right away. I, I'm not sure, really, that this is all on Mark Sanchez today. I don't believe it is. Second down and 10. Deep drop this time. Sanchez steps up. Rifles caught by Hazleton at the 33-yard line. Patrick Chung makes the stop. Good throw by Sanchez. And if somehow Sanchez can get them downfield, that time Big Chung, 19-yard gain, if he can get them downfield and into the end zone, this game becomes a lot more interesting down the stretch. But it's got to happen fast. Desmond Reed is the tailback. Short drop. Now Sanchez looking deep. Throws for Hazleton. Makes the catch. I thought Hazleton got away with a push-off, to tell you the truth. 
Well, you got to do what you got to do when it comes down to this part of the game. Jarius Bird and Hazelton going at it. And it did look like at the last second, Hazelton got freed up. Let's take a look at it. Hazelton kind of running a post and then to the corner and does get both hands on Bird and frees himself up. Not called. Nice throw by Mark Sanchez. Made it 28. Don't go anywhere yet. Ball at the 38-yard line. Sanchez with all day to throw it. Over the middle. Caught by Turner. First down at the 14-yard line. Sanchez delivering three outstanding balls in a row here. And just under five minutes left in this football game. Again, USC has got to get into the end zone. And then it's really on a crack. The ball just inside the 15. Sanchez throws for the end zone to Osbury. He's got it. Touchdown, Trojans. Flag down. But I think that's going to be interference against Oregon. Osbury, a very big receiver. 6'4", 225, redshirt freshman. Out of Labore, California. Yes, on the defense, number six. Penalty's decline. Touchdown. Well, that happened in a hurry. This game just turned on a dime. That's by far the most impressive Mark Sanchez has looked as the USC quarterback stepping up on the road and delivering that ball perfectly to Osbury. Third down and five. Huge play right here. Straight back Sanchez with time. Throws caught by Hazelton. And he's going to be close, but I think short of the first down. It's going to be fourth down and about a yard, I think. Jerome Boyd makes the tackle. Hazelton that time doing a good job of slithering forward. Sanchez doing a good job of finding him, working his progression. And here comes the down of the year for both these football teams so far. No question about it. Oregon has been very effective on fourth downs defensively. Look out for that quarterback sneak. We talked about it earlier in the game. Mark Sanchez, very effective, taking it himself. Got a yard to go. The pitch this time to McKnight. First down and plenty more. Still on his feet at the 32-yard line. And the Trojans' drive continues a gain of seven. They fake the dive to Havili. That's the play he fumbled on on third down in the third quarter that really changed this football game. That time they fake the dive and flip it outside, sucking the defensive end in. Very, very good call by Steve Sarkisi and USC offense coordinator. First down at the 33. There's a screen for McKnight. McKnight tries to bounce it outside, now cuts back. Runs into the umpire and is stopped as he gets to about 37. It'll be second down and six. And the clock now becomes very much of a factor. USC has one timeout remaining. Sanchez straight back. Steps up, throws. Hazelton has it. Cracked as he gets the 47-yard line, but he hangs on. Now the Trojans will hurry to line of scrimmage. The clock will stop while the chains are moved. Hodgman and Harper really stuck him, but a first down for the Trojans. All three wide receivers for USC who have been much blind this football season. Stepping up huge, Osbury, Hazelton, and Turner. Short drop this time. Sanchez bounces it outside. Now he's going to run, try to head for the sidelines. Dives out of bounds to stop the clock. Looking pretty good. Stanford's on the cut. Third down. Three-man rush for the Ducks. Sanchez throws to McKnight. He's got the first down. And now let's see what the Trojans do. They can hurt him. They still have a timeout remaining. It's second down. The ball's at the 33-yard line.